So greetings from Zello. Zello was the site of the famous Zello Heights battle in the end of World War II. As you can see behind me, there's a statue of a Soviet soldier over here. And this was the decisive blow for the Nazis. In this battle, the Soviets cross, crushed the last resistance of the German army of the Wehrmacht. And this was the last obstacle on the way to Berlin. So it's situated about 90 kilometers away from Berlin and it's a site that you have to visit. It's a must if you're in this part of Germany. So yeah, let's check it out. So as you can see, first you'll find a monument and a graveyard of the Soviet soldiers who have fallen here. Actually, there are just a couple of graveyards. As, as far as I know, it was about 50 to 100,000 of them who fell in this place. This is how it looks like, this is how everything looks. Of course, there's a Soviet soldier up there, the statue. And yeah, we're very close to the Valley of the Oder, to the Oder, actually, close, almost 20 kilometers, actually. So the Oder, Oder is somewhere that way. So the Soviets crossed the river and they were heading this way. And these heights, these little hills, were um, the last bastion of the German resistance basically. So the Germans stood here, fortified and waiting for the Soviets to come. So yeah, let's get a closer look. As you can see, it's very majestic, everything. So yeah, everything is in German. And I don't really speak German, I speak very little. Okay, let's climb up to the statue. And see what exactly we have here. And also, to see the view from the top. As you can see, these hills are not very tall and not very big. So, they will not offer a lot of protection to the Germans who are entrenched here. There you go. So between the 16th and 19th of April 1945, this battle took place. And yeah. Incredible. And yeah. There's just a couple of small hills nothing that could stand in the way of the Soviet army, which was ten times more numerous than the German one. What can you do? And yeah. Okay. So this monument was created by Soviet sculptor Lev Kerbel and Vladimir Zikal and dedicated on November 27, 1945. So a couple of these uh, sculptures, a couple of months after the war ended, these sculptures were erected, sorry. Very, very interesting indeed. And yeah, this is how the whole thing looks like from the top of the hill. There's also a museum which is somewhere underneath the hill, but it's closed today for some unknown reason. 
Well, what can you do? Impressive, majestic, I would say. So yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already and also click the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I'm posting something and yeah, in the description there will be a link for donations click the link if you desire so of course and so far so good so what?